Welcome back to online math up we're gonna be solving this equation right here so this is x power root x is equal to 25 so this is a typical mass olympiad past question so you want to follow through so i see how you can actually solve that okay so let me write solution okay and then of course the question i, I repeated this is x power root x is equal to 25 okay so what i'm gonna do is just to find a way to rewrite this x right here and of course i can rewrite it as root x or raised to power 2 which is basically the same with what i have right here because 2 can actually cancel this square root and that then i'll be back to x okay and of course i'm gonna use this to, to multiply this root x here so that i have it this way is equal to 25 and so for me to make the solvents more convenient for me i'm actually going to set this root x to be another variable so i'm going to set root x okay to be equal to m and so if i do that i'm going to be having m squared okay and of course raised to power i'm going to be having m right here is equal to 25 okay so I can also decide to bring out these two um, these two right here. So I'm gonna be having m okay power two m is equal to twenty-five. So what I will do next is just to take the natural log of both sides. Okay, so if I do that, I'm gonna be having natural log of m power two m is equal to the natural log of twenty-five. So next, I will uh, utilize the property of uh, logarithm. So, which of course basically said if you have natural log of a power b, you can actually write this as b multiplied by the natural log of a. Okay, so if I apply that here, I'm going to be having 2m multiplied by the natural log of m is equal to the natural log of 25 okay so this point i am actually going to go ahead to divide through by these two right here so that i'm going to be having this will cancel this m left here multiplied by the natural log of m is equal to the natural log of 25 divided by 2 okay and then of course i can go ahead to simplify this and looking at how the problem is we're actually going to be applying the Lambert sloping function to solve this so our job is actually to simplify this left hand side to be in the form of a exponential a okay so that of course when we apply the Lambert of function is actually going to be equal to a so for me to achieve this i'm actually going to write this m as exponential natural log of m okay which is basically the same as m because exponential of natural log is equal to one and one times m will still give you same okay so writing this i'm going to be having exponential natural log of m multiplied by this natural log of m right here and of course it's all equal to the natural log of 25 divided by 2 okay so that i can actually write this as natural log of m okay natural log of m multiplied by the exponential natural log of m is equal to the natural log of 25 divided by 2 okay so you can see that i've got natural log right here and i've also got natural log of m which of course this function here is signed in the form of a exponential a so now I can apply the lambda w function. So I will take the lambda w function of natural log of m, uh, multiply by the exponential of natural log of m, and this is equal to lambda w function of natural log of 25 divided by 2. Okay, so that this whole left hand side now collapses to natural log of m is equal to the lambda w function of natural log of 25 divided by 2 okay and of course for me to get this m right here i'm actually gonna go ahead to 
uh, take the exponential of both sides. So I'm going to be having exponential natural log of m is equal to the exponential of lambda log with function of natural log of 25 divided by 2. Okay, so that at this point natural log of uh, exponential of natural log is equal to 1. 1 times m will be equal to m. Okay, and of course m is now equal to exponential lambda wave function of natural log of 25 divided by 2 okay so this is what we have but then you remember that we set this m to be equal to root x okay so what i'm gonna do is just to replace it here because of course we are looking for the value of x so that i have that root x is equal to the uh, exponential of lambda the wave function of natural log of 25 divided by 2 okay so for me to get this x right here i'm gonna actually go ahead to take the square of both sides okay and of course if i do that these two will cancel this square root and eventually x will be equal to the exponential of lambda w function of natural log of 25 divided by 2 okay and of course it's all gonna be raised to power 2 so this is actually gonna be the value of x that will satisfy the equation we are sorry you can also get an approximate value when you go over to from alpha.com and compute this in the calculator right there on the side okay but then of course this is what we have and then let me have a thought in the comment section if you've understood this video if you've got any value here do not forget to subscribe to our channel turn on the notification icon and of course i'm gonna see you guys in my next video bye